One week ago, Memphis police released a video of the beating of Tyree Nichols. His death sparked protests and led to the arrest of five police mm. officers. For many of us, the story weighs heavily on our hearts and minds. And joining me today is Merlin Baker, a therapist with Black Male Therapist. So good morning. Thank you for being here with us. Good morning. Absolutely. And we know uh, watching that video has been particularly hard for a lot of people, but especially people of color, black people in particular. Uh, what are some ways that people can kind of deal with what's happening without completely avoiding it? I think, first of all, we can acknowledge the fact that this was kind of an anomaly and that there were six cops, one Caucasian cop that shot the taser and five African-American cops that killed Tyree Nichols. So that's an anomaly because typically we don't see that, first of all. I think the second thing that we have to do is to be honest that this really affects a lot of people. I'm thankful that not only African-Americans are moving forward and trying to fight for justice and freedom, but all people of color recognize that this impacts the community on a very traumatic level. And we know while this is an anomaly, as you mentioned, this isn't the first time that, you know, people of color have been seen in videos like this. Um, how do you cope with that? Does that cause any type of psychological trauma? Yeah, that brings up a level of race-based trauma as to where you become hypervigilant, you become depressed, anxious, you deal with all types of thoughts that are unwanted. And so typically what I encourage people to do, number one, if they start ruminating Rihanna, meaning that if those thoughts are repeated, I would encourage them to seek help and seek treatment. And uh, what does that treatment look like? Does that start with just speaking with someone? I think, first of all, it starts with speaking to yourself and making yourself more aware. The greatest awareness is self-awareness, number one. Number two, that may cause someone to get professional help with a therapist. So I would encourage people to take those steps, continue to talk about this, and if you feel as if you're depressed, anxious, or nervous, I would encourage you to seek professional help. And let's talk a little bit about families because there are also sometimes, you know, little kids seeing these videos. What conversation can a parent have with a child about what's going on? I think, number one, they have to be very candid about the situation because this is a very candid situation that we're seeing, number one. Number two, I think parents have to educate themselves about the types of trauma that people experience. There's a level of acute trauma as well as a single event. Then there's a level of chronic prolonged trauma that we constantly see with police brutality and things of that nature. But then there's a level of complex trauma as well. So I think educating their children about trauma is a very significant situation that they need to do. And speaking on that prolonged trauma, we know race is something that's, you know, been happening in America for centuries. How do you not feel defeated? How do you continue to make progress mentally? I think we've always made progress as African Americans. We've always been overcomers. We've, we've always been very resilient individuals. But I think in this era on Rihanna, we can continue to be resilient and be prayerful and be hopeful with the help of a therapist as well. And speaking on therapy, I, I know a lot of people say it's important to have a therapist that look like them, that can relate to that type of trauma. Do you think that that's essential? I think that's important for a lot of people. I think having someone that can identify with the struggle is a very powerful tool because it helps people to be more candid and more honest about their feelings, their thought, and the issues that they're feeling in their spirit as well as their psyche. And where can people go uh, for more resources? For more resources, they can do a couple of things. They can call the insurance company, number one. They can use their EAP. That's an acronym for Employee, Employee Service Pro, Employee System Benefits. But they can also give us a call at 904-322-2162, and we can respond and answer any questions that they may have. All right. Thank you so much, Marilyn Baker. It was a pleasure having you on this Absolutely. morning. Absolutely. Thank you for being here. Absolutely.